Hey YouTube, I know I'm uploading a lot of updates for this tank, but I'm also trying to document it setting up. The original point of this channel was to be a tank diary, so I started uploading the YouTube because I figured any mistakes I make I can share with the rest of the world so other people don't have to make them. I can at least learn how to fix them. So I have eight Neon Tetras, and I transferred my Honey Garami from my five-gallon Fluval Chi over to this tank. She seems pretty happy in there. I noticed since adding a larger fish, the Neon Tetras tend to stay in a tighter school. They... Prior were the only fish in the tank besides some cherry shrimp. And they would be all over the tank and kind of disperse. They wouldn't school very tightly. They now tend to school rather tightly. All of the crypts have new growth coming out. You can see the very light green leaves that are partly rolled up yet. The crypts are doing really well. I've had a couple of shrimp shed. There's some exoskeletons in those little tubes. The java moss seems to be growing well, attaching to the wood. Uh, at least in a couple of places, like down here. I kind of like to let it adhere naturally instead of gluing it or anything. I tried super gluing once and it wound up killing the plant. I think I overdid the super glue. A lot of the wood has this kind of weird algae or fungus on it. It's not that big of a deal. The shrimp are eating it and I'm just kind of going to let it run its course. I've kind of learned that when you fight algae you tend to make it worse. So there you can see just about all the fish in the tank. There's a shrimp right there in the middle of the shot. You can see how red it is. That's one of the females in this tank. There's six females and five males, so I know one of them just had babies. I don't know if they survived after a tank move or not. Here's a better, better angle both for the shrimp on the left hand side and you can see some of the new growth on the Crypt Wenti here. I also took the tall wisteria plants, uh, which I later learned were water sprite, and put them back here behind this rock. I took the new buds that <clears throat> started growing in this tank. They seem to be doing a really good job in here, so I'm just going to let them grow like that. I found that's kind of the best way. Let them adjust and start budding off a couple of plants and then replant those small buds that appear at the node. I let them grow to about two inches. They had roots of about three inches, and then I planted them with the roots down and the crown just above the substrate. The crypts, the only thing that's important with them is when you plant them, to plant their crown or rosette just above the gravel and make sure you bury their roots well. 
that seems to be the greatest success that I have with Crypt Wenty. I uh, was capable of even growing it in the five-gallon fluval chi with just plain clown puke gravel. So I don't think it's that hard, and a lot of people on the internet say that you need to dirt your tank in order to grow Crypt Wenty, but I found that it grows really well, even if you only have gravel. You just have to let the mulm build up and make sure that you culture some detritus worms in your tank. Those turn the mulm and some leftover food and things into plant food. Essentially topsoil. I just realized I've run quite long on this, so I'm just going to sit back and let the tank play for a little bit and then... Thanks for watching.